Good morning, everyone. First of all, I want to say thank you for taking the time out to attend this town hall meeting. My name is James Boyd, Jr. I am the executive director of school supports. I support the middle school network for Providence Public School District. This morning, I will be giving you the information session for the Providence Virtual School Learning Academy for middle school. Buenos dias a, a todos que están aquí hoy. Um, um, él es uh, señor James Boyd y es el director de soportes para las escuelas intermedias. So, on the information session today, uh, along with myself, I have Ms. Rebecca Filomeno Nason, who will be um, not only assisting with translation, but she's also our manager for multilingual learners. Um, Melanie Laredo, who is our middle school special ed manager. Um, Gina Silvia, who will be coming in later. She is our guidance for the secondary network. And Dr. Alege, who is the network superintendent for secondary schools. Uh, not, not in this slide, but also here we have Dr. Camello, who is our director for um, secondary supports. And we also have Janet Pachado, who will also be assisting with translations. So I wanted to make sure you knew all the different people that are here this morning to try to help answer any questions you may have and to provide you with as much information as possible in this morning's session. If you have any questions, please hold those questions um, to the end. But if those are critical questions you really need, please add those questions to the chat and we will hopefully have somebody who is here this morning that could assist you in answering those questions. Um, aquí puede ver una lista de uh, presentadores que están aquí para ayudar a ustedes, al uh, el señor uh, James Boyd. Uh, mi nombre es Rebeca Filomeno. También tenemos Melanie Laurito, uh, Gina Silva y um, uh, Yinka Alegue. También tenemos a uh, la señora Janet Pichardo que va a ayudar y a um, uh, el señor Mike Camela también está aquí. Si puede, por favor, um, deje sus preguntas para el, para el final de la presentación. Um, eh, vamos a, a tomar un tiempo para eso y también puede poner sus uh, preguntas en el chat. So, today's agenda will be discussing what is Providence Virtual Learning Academy, the timeline, program earner overview, an understanding of what synchronous and asynchronous learning means, the attendance policy, the value of the learning coach, grading policy, a sample schedule, the different schools that make up the middle school network, a time for question and answers, and then resources that are available to you in regards to the Providence Virtual Learning Academy. Uh, la agenda uh, para hoy es um, primero que es el PVLA o um, el, la escuela uh, virtual, uh, fechas de PVLA, resumen del programa, aprendizaje uh, sincrónico y asincrónico, uh, asistencia, entrenador de aprendizaje, póliza de calificaciones, Ejemplo del horario estudiantil. Um, también vamos a hablar del uh, Middle School Network y al final sesión de preguntas y respuestas um, y también recursos de PVLA o PVLA. So, really briefly, the timeline for the Virtual Learning Academy. August 19th was the deadline for parents to make the decision if they were interested in the Virtual Learning Academy. September the 14th will be the first day of school for all students in the Virtual Learning Academy, grades six through eight. And January 26, 2021 will be the last day of students enrolled in Virtual Learning Academy. So those students who are enrolled in Virtual Learning Academy will be there until at least January 26, 2021. Aquí son fechas importantes para el uh, programa uh, virtual. Um, el 19 de agosto era uh, la fecha que uh, límite para inscribirse sus niños. Um, el uh, primer día de la escuela va a, va a ser el 14 de septiembre y el último día del semestre es uh, en uh, 26 de enero y los niños que están en este programa tienen que estar en este programa hasta enero. 
hasta el 26 de, de enero. The program overview. Providence Virtual Learning Academy will be using the same core curriculum as the students who are in face-to-face -face learning. Oh, sorry. El uh, resumen del programa. Eh, los estudiantes uh, utilizan el mismo plan de estudios que sus compañeros en los cursos um, o grados 6 a 8. They will be following the same schedule and academic calendar as their in-person peers. Sigue el mismo horario de clases y calendario académico de los estudiantes de uh, PPSD um, en persona. It will be taught by PPSD teachers. Um, es enseñado por maestros del PPSD. Students with IEPs or 504 plans, accommodations or related services will still have access to those services. Y los estudiantes que tienen un IEP o plan de 504, um, adaptaciones o servicios uh, relacionados, seguirán uh, teniendo uh, acceso a esos servicios. And it will feature both synchronous and asynchronous learning sessions. También van a tener um, sesiones uh, sincronizado y asincronizado. The difference between synchronous and asynchronous learning. Um, hay diferencia um, entre um, sincronizado y asincronizado. A synchronous lesson is the students are engaged in live learning with the teacher via the use of technology. Cuando los estudiantes están aprendiendo um, sincronizado, es un tiempo uh, que ellos van a, a aprender con la maestra como en, en, este, como en Zoom o, o en video. The teacher will facilitate and the students will have shared work sessions as a whole class. La maestra va a enseñar y los estudiantes van a tener tiempo con su clase entera. Students will have the opportunity to work together in groups ver via breakout rooms. Van a tener un tiempo para trabajar juntos. Students will also have opportunities to work independently while on video conference with the teacher monitoring their work. They will be able to share individual feedback with their teacher via chat or small group pullouts or the use of breakout rooms. También va a tener un tie uh, tiempo para trabajar in independientemente y también um, pueden uh, trabajar con su maestro um, y también puede comunicar con su maestro. En asynchronous learning, the students are engaging in their learning independently on their own timeline. Uh, cuando ellos están aprendiendo asincronizado, ellos están trabajando solo. For example, students can watch pre-recorded video lessons on their own schedule. Ellos pueden uh, ver videos que uh, manda la maestro o, you know, uh, videos que uh, son de aprendizaje. Students can complete assignments posted on the Google Classroom or other teacher-driven educational platforms on their own schedule. También puede um, usar su tiempo para completar um, algunas... Um, as, al, algunas cosas asignado de la maestra. And educators will provide feedback to students on a completed assignments via email. Y también puede comunicar con su maestro um, entre el um, correo el, electrónico. And it's important to understand that a synchronized lesson is not a lecture by the teacher. Es importante que ustedes también saben que uh, sincronizado, elección sincronizado, I'm sorry, Mr. Boyd, is not what? It's not a lecture by the oh, okay. teacher. No es, no es nada más uh, un tiempo para la maestra para uh, dar lectura. Es, um, es un tiempo para, uh, you know, aprender. Attendance. Asistencia. Students must log in daily and attend all class sessions unless the student has an excused absence. Los estudiantes tienen que in, iniciar la sesión diariamente y asistir a todas las sesiones de clase a menos que un estudiante te, tenga una ausencia o una tardanza justificada. If a student is absent, they must make contact with their teacher in regards to makeup work and missed assignments. 
los estudiantes tienen que comunicarse con su maestro para enviar las tareas perdidas de acuerdo con la uh, póliza de calificaciones del distrito. Teachers will take daily attendance via Zoom or Google Classroom. Uh, los uh, profesores o maestros uh, tomarán uh, la asistencia a través de Zoom o Google Classroom. Teachers will send a reminder email or Kinvo to students who have not completed their Google Classroom forms for attendance. Los maestros uh, um, enviar, enviarán un recordario por correo electrónico o entre Kinvo a los estudiantes que no completen el formu formulario de Google Classroom para asistencia. And teachers will communicate with families when necessary if there are attendance issues. Y uh, los maestros se comunicarán con las familias cuando sea necesario con respecto de la asistencia. The learning coach. Entrenador de aprendizaje. Like a parent or guardian, likely a parent or guardian or trusted person who is chosen by the parent or guardian. Esto es una uh, padre o tutor o una persona de confianza um, eligada por un padre o tutor. This person will play a significant role in providing support for the online learning experience. Uh, esta persona uh, va a ser una persona importante uh, al brindar apoyo para la experiencia de aprendizaje en línea. This person will ensure that the student follows their class schedule. Esta persona va a se, um, asegura que el estudiante sigue el horario de clases. And this person will provide a location for students to work that is safe and free of distractions. Esta persona debe, um, debe dar un lugar para que los estudiantes trabajen en sea segura, seguro um, y libre de distracciones. The learning coach will provide support and is in the same general location with the student during the school day. Esta persona brinda apoyo y se encuentra en la misma ubicación general con el estudiante durante el día escolar. The learning coach ensures the student logs on daily and attends all class sessions. Um, sorry, we're on the next slide? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sorry. Um, Asegúrese de que el estudiante inicia sesión diariamente y asista a todas las sesiones de clase. They monitor the student's grades. Supervisa las calificaciones de los estudiantes. Monitors the completion of assignments. Supervisa la finalización de las asignaciones. And for every hour that they work with their learning coach, that student should work five hours daily independently. Um, para cada hora que ellos están trabajando con ese estudiante, el, um, los estudiantes deben trabajar cinco horas um, solo. The middle school grading policy. Policia cal de calificaciones de la escuela intermedia. It is necessary for us to balance high expectations and high levels of support in our new normal. Es necesario para que podamos um, equilibrar las altas expectativas y el alto apoyo en nuestra nueva normalidad. We'll be implementing a fair grading policy set forth by Stand for Children. Vamos a implementar la póliza de calificaciones justa. Es um, establecida por Stand for Children. Students can only receive grades of A, B, C, or incomplete. Los estudiantes solo pueden recibir calificaciones de A, B, C, o incompletas. Teachers will create a plan for course completion for students who earn an incomplete. El maestro creará un plan para completar el curso para los estudiantes que obtengan un incompleto. The lowest possible grade will be a 50%. Grado más bajo posible es 50%. Late work will be accepted with no penalty. Trabajo tarde aceptado sin um, penalización. And retakes will be encouraged and the highest grade 
achieved by the student will be accepted. Se adelantará a que el estudiante uh, repita las asignaciones y se aceptará las calificaciones más alta recibi recibida. In person and virtual students will receive the same report card, progress reports, on the same schedule. Los estudiantes en persona y virtuales reciban boletas de calificaciones y informes de progreso en el mismo horario. Grades will be submitted monthly to ensure strong communication between the students and families. Las calificaciones se enviará mensualmente para garantizar una comunicación sólida con los estudiantes y las familias. Family and teacher meetings will be conducted via video conference or by phone conference with the students. Las reuniones de familia um, y maestros se realizarán por videoconferencia o por teléfono para los estudiantes de PVLA. I apologize, I was muted. This is a sample student schedule. Esto es un ejemplo uh, del horario. The, the most important thing you need to note is that on the Virtual Learning Academy, the students will be doing their core classes on um, synchronous learning and their electives will be asynchronous. Ok, lo, lo más importante es que ustedes saben que las clases de ciencia y estudios social, social uh, se imparten uh, sincronizamente de lunes a jueves y de formas um, asíncronas. Oh, I'm sorry, can you repeat that again, Mr. Boyd? The core classes will be synchronous Monday through Thursday. Ok. And so electives will be asynchronous. Ah, uh, ok. Uh, sus clases van a ser um, sincronizadas uh, lunes a, a martes. Y, uh, and then you said Fridays? We haven't gotten to Fridays yet. Oh, sorry. Can you say that one more time? I'm sorry. Sure. I'm confusing myself. Core classes, core, the core classes will be synchronous Monday through Thursday. Electives okay. will be asynchronous Monday through Thursday. Ok. Y los clases electivos van a, van a tener um, asincronizado el viernes. On Friday, science and social studies will be asynchronous. El viernes, el ciencia y estudio social van a estar um, asincronizado. On Fridays, all other courses and electives will be synchronous. Y el viernes, cada otra curso y los electivos van a estar, van a estar uh, sincronizado. So to say this again, electives will be synchronous on Fridays only. Electivos van a tener clases sincronizado nada más el viernes. So as a virtual learning academy student, you will have a specific contact person at each one of your schools. En cada escuela va a tener una persona para contactar con preguntas en cada escuela. So if you know your child's school, you may want to make sure you write down the name of the contact person and that phone number. Si usted sabe eh, la escuela de su estudiante, debe escribir la persona y el número que pueden ver aquí. It's also important that you have contact with those schools to find out when they're going to be doing their distribution of Chromebooks as well as when they will have their virtual open house. También es importante que usted comunica con, este, con su escuela para ver cuándo van a um, dar los computadores y también cuándo van a tener su um, open house virtual. These are resources that are available to you if you have any questions or concerns regarding the Virtual Learning Academy. Estos son uh, recursos que está, you know, aquí para ustedes si tienen cualquier pregunta del um, Academia Virtual o PVLA. At this time, we're open to any questions. En este tiempo estamos, um, uh, ustedes pueden uh, preguntar cualquier cosa.
So the first question we have is, will students be in classes with others from their school? Yes. Uh, okay. Ella quería, una um, padre que, o mamá quería saber si los estudiantes van a tener clases con um, otros estudiantes de su escuela y es sí. The next question is related to the start time for school um, and also the end time. <laughs> um, eh, una padre que quiere saber cuándo empieza la escuela y cuándo termina. Start time and end time for Virtual Learning Academy students will be the same as in person. Es lo mismo de los estudiantes que están en persona. Um, if you could just put up the contacts for the middle school on the slides again, I think that would be helpful. Um, another question was, will we use Summit to monitor our children? Alguien quería saber si vamos a usar Summit para ver cómo están progresando los estudiantes. Um, no, we will not be using Summit, Summit Learning this year. Um, Math will be using illustrative math, and English and humanities will be using Academy of Reading, American Reading Company, excuse me. They'll be using ARC. Este año no vamos a usar el programa de Summit. Vamos a usar para matemáticas una programa que se llama Illustrative Math, y para lectura y, um, pues, uh, y estudio social, una programa que se llama American Reading Company. Um, the next question was, will we get a copy of the information that you've gone over? Si podemos tener una copia de esta información. Yes, we will try to make sure that you have access to this PowerPoint, and we will also have this actual presentation recorded, so it will be posted as well. Sí, vamos a compartir esta información, y también estamos haciendo un, un recording, so usted puede ver eso también otra vez. And we will try to have it in English and Spanish. Y vamos a tenerlo en inglés y también en español. The next question was, how will we renew 504 plans? Uh, sí, ¿qué, ¿qué vamos a hacer si necesito, um, uh, I don't know how to say renew, uh, hacer otra vez el plan de 504? It is my understanding that those services will still continue and those meetings will be held virtually. Um, que vamos a um, todavía um, tener ese soporte y si tiene que hacer una reunión, uh, puede hacerlo um, virtual. The next question, um, if you could clarify how this will affect children with IEP. ¿Cómo va a afectar los estudiantes con un IEP? Melanie, can you jump in and answer that question, please? Sorry, I just need them to unmute me. Yep, so um, students that have signed up for virtual um, learning, it will be the same. Um, the, you will be provided supports. You'll be doing um, virtual learning, and the special education teachers will ensure they'll work out a plan. We're going to have um, teachers will be contacting you in teams to review what we call the, an implementation plan. So if it's looking a little different than what it would look like when the child's in school. Um, different students, if they're... Um, can you let me translate that real quick? Oh, sorry. Um, um, so, eh, si, si su hijo tiene un IEP, um, todavía va a obtener esos servicios um, y va los, la maestra de educación especial va a con, contactar a ustedes y también va a, va a conectar con la, las maestros para hacer un plan. So the, the students will still have somebody that will be providing them their services. They will still receive services. They will just obviously look different if they're doing it virtually. Todavía va, va a tener sus servicio de educación especial. Y también si hay uh, preguntas eh, que hay personas que nada, you know, quiere preguntar en español, puede ponerlo en el chat. The next question was, will school supplies be provided to students? Um, si uh, los estudiantes van a recibir um, uh, sus uh, cosas para escuela, lápiz, um, Cuadernos, cosas así. 
if you will contact the individual schools, we received a lot of donations of backpacks and school supplies. So please contact that individual school to see when they will be distributing those items. Um, it may be at the same time they're distributing Chromebooks or they may have a different time, but please contact the individual schools because they do have supplies available. Usted puede contactar a, a su escuela. Um, ellos tienen varias cosas. Uh, tienen sus computadores y también varias cosas para dar a, a los familias. So deben llamar a la escuela. How do we monitor students' work without using Summit? ¿Qué, qué vamos a hacer si no tenemos el Summit para ver cómo está progresando a uh, mi hijo? You, you should have a way of using your learning coach to communicate with the teachers. Um, whatever platform the teachers are using for the students to do their work, there should be a methodology for you to communicate with those teachers. Those are questions that are really great to ask when you first introduce yourself to the, your child's students, um, your child's teachers the first week of school. Debe conectar con los maestros de su hijo o hija. Um, eso es, um, ellos van a, a conectar con usted y ellos pueden compartir con usted cómo está progresando su hijo o hija. Next question. Will they start each day with Google Classroom like they did last year? Si ellos van a empezar cada día con el Google Classroom con, como el año pasado. Yes, that is correct. They will start the days in their homeroom or first period teacher's class, Google Classroom. Sí, van a empezar con Google Classroom cada día. When will we receive login information for the first day of school? ¿Cuándo vamos a recibir eh, la información para los estudiantes para entrar en Google Classroom el primer día? You, you should receive that information this week. Again, you will need to contact your child's individual school to get that information about how that individual school will be providing that information. Deben recibir esa información esta semana. Deben con contactar a su escuela para ver cuándo ellos van a compartir esa información. Could students enroll in VLA mid-semester if we are not comfortable with the way in-person classes are proceeding? Si podemos cambiar, si no, como, si no le gusta cómo están progresando en eh, la escuela virtual, si pueden cambiar como en unas meses. Unfortunately, that is not a mechanism we have in VLA. VLA, even though it will be conducted at each individual middle school, is within itself a separate school. So based on student enrollment, it is not possible for students to switch. So if they are currently enrolled in VLA, they will be in VLA until the end of um, January. No pueden cambiar. Si ellos están en la programa virtual, ellos tienen que quedar en la programa virtual hasta el 26 de enero. If a child is interested, they will go, the parent will be able to put them on, a, um, on an interest list, but there's no guarantee that that child will be accepted into um, the Virtual Learning Academy based on space. Um, except, okay, accepted into it, Mr. Boyd, or what if they want to Leave if they it. if they are brick and mortar and they want to go to Virtual Learning Academy, there'll be a mechanism for them to be put on an interest list, but there's no guarantee that they'll be accepted because it'll be based on availability. Si hay estudiantes que van a empezar en persona, uh, pero ellos quieren cambiar a la escuela virtual, um, en este momento uh, ellos pueden, um, usted puede poner eh, su nombre, el nombre de su hijo o hija en una lista de interés. Um, también, oh, sorry, we also had a question in Spanish um, asking about the schedule, if we can show the schedule slide again. The next question was, how will this affect students in advanced academics? Will students in advanced academics be able to get back into their programs in January? Uh, eh, la pregunta era si los estudiantes pueden, uh, si ellos están en una programa que se llama um, Academy, uh, Academia Avanzada, si ellos pueden regresar a ese programa en enero. We will make every opportunity available for students to, if they were previously in advanced academics, to rejoin, but we cannot make any guarantees based on space. Vamos a tratar, pero no podemos decir en 
you know, que sí, porque no sé si vamos a tener espacio. James, with regard to the um, schedule, if you can share where families will have access to the schedule and students. The schedule should be on Skyward, um, I believe, today. By the end of the day, the schedule should be on Skyward. Uh, Pueden ver los horarios de los estudiantes en Skyward um, um, hoy, al final del día. The next question, will students lose their seats in their current school if we continue with the BLA? Si los estudiantes van a perder su silla en la escuela, um, si, uh, en su escuela, si vamos a um, continuar con la escuela virtual. The goal is for students to stay enrolled in their home school at the end of VLA. Nosotros queremos que los estudiantes quedan en su escuela uh, cuando ellos termina la uh, escuela virtual. I believe that was all of the questions thus far. Are there any other questions? Are there any other slides you'd like me to return to? Hay más preguntas o um, información que necesita. Another question. I thought we were using School City. That is where I found a schedule for my child this morning. Are we sticking with Skyward? Eh, si vamos a usar el, el programa Skyward o si vamos a usar un progr uh, programa que se llama School City. I, I believe both platforms are available, but I know that Skyward is the, the main mechanism that will be used for that information, especially in regards to student schedules. Vamos a use, usar los dos programas, pero uh, Skyward es el primer programa que vamos a usar para um, los horarios de los estudiantes. Okay, if there are no other questions, I really appreciate everyone's time. Uh, we will try to make this information. I'm sorry, go ahead. All right, one more question. Just clarification on synchronous versus asynchronous learning. Uh, uh, una mamá quiere clarificación en la diferencia de sincronizada y asincronizada. So the biggest difference between synchronous and asynchronous is that asynchronous will not be live whereas synchronous learning will be live with the teacher. La diferencia más um, grande es que sincronizada es cuando ellos están enseñando en video uh, y asincronizado es cuando eh, los estudiantes están trabajando eh, independientemente. So is that it for the questions? One last question. It looks like someone's child has a schedule on School City but not on Skyward and they are wondering if they will combine the redundancies of the schedule. As, as I know, the schedules that they will receive on Skyward will probably be the most updated. I'm not sure how up to date that schedule may be on School City. So I would ask that parent to make sure they check on Skyward by the end of the day today to ensure. And then if they have further questions, I would recommend they contact their child's school with that specific contact person for VLA. And that person could help navigate those questions for them. I, th I think we're all set with that. That pair responded, so. Okay. And then there, I believe Janae is going to unmute one parent so that they can share their question out loud. Mm. 
actually, I think I think they ask it. They asked the question in Spanish a little earlier. Um, so if someone can read that and translate it for us. Um, I think it was the question about the schedule. Um, that's the only one that I saw in the chat in Spanish. It was just uh, to see if, if we could show that slide again. Um, I think that's the only one I saw in Spanish. I think it's about registration for an eighth grader from a Christian um, Rivera Alvarado. Okay, the question is, it was also put in English below. Uh, the question is wondering if you can um, still enroll in the um, eighth grade virtual learning academy. At this point, if that child has not already been assigned, then they will go on to a interest list. And if a vacancy becomes available, they will be eligible. But it's not a wait list, it is only an interest list. En este tiempo, uh, si todavía tiene un estudiante que usted quiere in inscribir en la programa de uh, virtual, uh, vamos a tener una lista de interesa, pero no es una lista de espera. Um, so es nada más una lista de interés. And then just two last questions about receiving a hard copy of this slideshow. Si pueden, uh, si ustedes pueden tener una copia de, del um, PowerPoint or slideshow. We, we will do everything possible to ensure that this slideshow is available in English and Spanish as soon as possible. Um, it will definitely probably be part of the YouTube, but we'll also make sure that there's some way that this is available on the, the PPSD site as well. So they can go back and look at those specific slides if they have questions. Vamos a compartir ese, este um, slideshow o PowerPoint en el, um, en el website de, la, de las escuelas uh, de Proyens, pero también tenemos una um, uh, uh, en YouTube. Vamos a compartir este, um, you know, uh, sesión también. I will also share this PowerPoint. I will also share the PowerPoint with, the, with each um, middle school so the VLA contact person will have access to the slides as well. También vamos a compartir esta presentación con los contactos de las escuelas y si usted llame a la escuela, ellos también pueden um, compartir esto con ustedes. And then another question, I had signed my child up for VLA, but I haven't received a call. Does this mean that they weren't accepted? Una mamá dije que ella inscribí su hijo en la programa virtual, pero en este tiempo uh, nadie ha llamado. So no sé si él todavía está en ese programa o no. That is a question that we will probably have to investigate offline. If we could get that person's information, we could certainly investigate that information for them and try to get them an answer. James, I can get back to them because I already, I, I looked it up. Okay, perfect. And then I think just on the similar note, how parents can confirm that they are registered. Padres quieren saber cómo puede conf confirmar, confirmar que ellos están um, um, en el programa virtual. It is my understanding that information should have already been communicated. If it was not, I would recommend that they call their child's school of record and confirm with their VLA contact person at that school. Deben llamar al contacto en la escuela de su hijo o hija. Another question, does grading work the same way for VLA and in-person learning? Si, eh, si eh, una padre quiere saber uh, si eh, la póliza es lo mismo para la escuela virtual, uh, or in persona. Yes, the grading will be the same. Si es lo mismo.
believe that is all of the questions. Okay. Again, I want to thank you for your time this morning. I really appreciate you taking the time out to participate in this town hall meeting and ensure that your child is going to get the best quality education. Again, we'll make sure that as much information is available to you on the PPSD site. I would strongly recommend that you contact your child's individual schools with individual follow-up questions. There should be one specific person on that campus who can answer that question, but hopefully whoever you speak to should be able to assist you and direct you to who can answer your questions. Uh, gracias a todos para, uh, por venir hoy. Uh, vamos a compartir um, uh, esta información en el website de Providence Public Schools, pero también si tiene más preguntas puede contactar a la escuela y las personas um, uh, que pueden ayudar con, las, uh, con la escuela virtual. Uh, gracias a todos. So thank you again and have a great day. Gracias. Adiós.